Hello there. These are some gifts I've been working on for Hazel. Um, some of you may have uh, seen my video. She sent me a lovely rack last month and I felt that I wanted to make her something in appreciation. It was a lovely thing she did and I just wanted to make her something. I thought also too I got the Acacia Craft Timeless Papers for my CT from Mad About Scrap and, and I really like them so I thought I'd use those for the gifts I made and I'm glad I did because they're a lovely set of papers. I know they've been around for quite some time yet but this is the first time I've come across them. Um, the first thing I made for her is, we'll start at the tag down the bottom. This is the tag. I prefer to make tags than cards to be honest. I, they're much easier. It's just got a little dangle down the bottom that can be removed. Shabby flower from Lavish Laces. Uh, a piece of doily over the front there and some seam binding to hang it or tie it and on the back I've used a piece of the paper with just a bit of pattern on it but with lots of blank area so I can write on it so that's the tag I've made quite simple the second thing I've made is this box here it's like a trinket box I got from a thrift store last year sometime. Um, it's it's autumn in Australia so I thought I'd go with an autumn theme for the box and the, the papers actually lend themselves to a autumn theme as well and so what I've done on top as you can see I've made this little I think cornucopia um, out of hessian or burlap I think some people call it. It's got some um, trim that matches it quite well that I've put across the top there and the bottom. Some twine that I've tied a bow with and sort of twisted all through it. And this is a piece of an old doily that was quite stained in the center so I've used all the um, bits around the outside and I love it because it's so curled up and crinkly. With the paper I've actually gone over it with a stamp which is also the Kayser Craft one, it's the Crackle Stamp, this one here. And I think it came out quite effective. It does look like Crackle, but it also reminds me of a bit of a road map or something as well. So I went all over it with that. And there's a flourish here, I've just put a little bit of um, rub and buff on that. A variety of flowers, all most of them are from Mad About Scrap and apart from this large acrylic flower and the two pink fabric flowers which I tea dyed, they're from Louise's store but I'm pretty sure the rest of those flowers are from Mad About Scrap and some curled up seam binding I fussy cut one of the butterflies out of the paper and popped it on top there around the edge I did paint the box chocolate brown but it was a bit too dark so I rub and buff the corners to give it that old kind of appearance and just some little beads for the feet and there's the bottom you can see the crackle effect there yeah, it's quite good especially if you don't really have much success with the glue method of doing crackle and you don't have the the right medium to do it the other way inside now this box was inspired by Jay Zeller from Lavish Laces she's always making the most adorable boxes for her friends and filling them with lace and oh I love watching her boxes they're just lovely um, this isn't pretty pretty like hers but this the I was inspired by her boxes so I've I hope she doesn't mind I've made Hazel a box with laces in as well quite easy to do just pieces of cardboard and I've just covered each piece with pieces of paper I've also added this little bit of trim here and it's pretty much at a 90 degree angle because if it's any further back the weight of the lid will just knock have the box falling over so you, you do have to watch that when you're decorating boxes that you don't make them so heavy that the lid can't be held up because you don't want it flopping open and damaging all the top part so that's my little trinket box I do have to squeeze it a bit to close it because the laces kind of fill it up a lot so that's my lovely little trinket box I made for her and then lastly I've made this little booklet it was inspired by Anne from Everblooming Crafts I've been wanting to make 
sorry about that, got interrupted. I've been wanting to make a fabric lace journal for quite some time now and I've been putting it off and putting it off and collecting laces and collecting fabrics and finally I'm about to start to do one and the other day, oh, probably a week or so ago, I was watching some channels on YouTube and I watched Ever Blooming Crafts had a video up and she'd done the most adorable little book. It's a paper book, but she'd embellished it with laces and doilies and things like that. And I thought, that's perfect. That's just what I need to ease me into doing a proper, you know, fabric lace book. It takes some, um, it gives me a little bit of practice before I actually, you know, have to do the sewing part of it and everything like that. So this is where I was inspired from. It's a paper book, but I've you know, used all the laces and obviously it's not sewn this one but the next one will be. So thank you Anne and I'll put her link in the description box below. Now this is a little quote book I've made for Hazel. I've put a charm on the front there, just a little friendship charm. That's a blue moon charm I, I believe. Doily shabby flower from lavish laces. It's bound by some seam binding. There's a mixture of new laces and trims and vintage laces and trims. That's just a little tea dyed applique from Zendale, that one. This lovely one here was from Angie in one of her packages she sent me and this one's just from Lingcraft. They had a good sale on a couple of weeks ago. So that's the front. It's quite simple. It looks nice to the naked eye, but on camera it does seem to come off like it needs a bit more, but it, it's quite nice in person. That's the back. Just details behind there. Okay, now this is the first page. This is some of that same lovely little doily scraps there. I really like that. More laces up the side. That's a flower that Sarah sent me. Thank you, Sarah. And this little bit of lace around the edge is actually from Lavish Laces. Now, these gorgeous, gorgeous images here are from... They're from a French journal. A couple of them, actually. Uh, there you go. There's the date there. I've scanned them out. It's a ladies' journal. It's beautiful photos in it. I've scanned them and I've printed them out. And this is on a canvas paper. Now, when I bought it, I thought it was canvas, but it's not. It's just paper with the texture, slight texture of canvas, as you can see there, I hope. The problem with it is that it tends to transfer onto anything opposite it sometimes paper but if it's lace it does tend to rub off which is really annoying and I didn't realize that would happen and I put it in the book and I framed all the photos with some lace and everything but then I came across um, For You Marlene she put up a video on some Easter gifts she'd made I think for her nieces and on the front of these little bags she had photos but she'd covered them in the tulle, you know the mesh Oh, hang on, there's some here. Oops. Yeah. Come here. This, this sort of thing. She's, she'd covered the picture in, in the mesh. Now I was thinking, and it, it looked really nice. And actually that does look very, very nice. But it's too late to do it in this book but on future books if I want to use that paper I think I will cover the actual picture in a little bit of the mesh tool to prevent any transfer happening on the opposite side. Anyway that's beside the point. These are the quotes I got those from the Oprah Winfrey site. They're just inspirational quotes, nice quotes, happy quotes. And that's the first page and there's the second page some more of that doily and some little daisies around it. There's a, a large doily piece underneath it as well. Some more trim, I think, from Lavish Laces, more from Lingcraft, more from 
Lincraft craft and this one down here that one's also from Mad About Scrap and that one so it's a little bit of a variety between new and old here's the rest of the doily ah, another interruption sorry about that <laughs> some more of that lace from Angie um, this one I think I got on sale at Lincraft a little handmade flower and a button so, but they're beautiful images, they really are. And these papers from the paper line, they're quite, you know, different from one another, but they all go together so very nicely. It's a little bit of an eclectic kind of mix, I think. This is a piece of lace off a, a, a doily. I, the middle of the doily wasn't very nice at all, but the lace was beautiful and it's so soft. It's a button just some newer lace or trim. There's a butterfly cut from the paper collection and some folded doilies under there. And that's the last page. It's just more about the mad about scrap and lace and that little trim. And just another little flower there. I hope I've been in frame there. So that's the pages of the book and it's quite wide but what I've done is, in each page, I have a pocket, and in each pocket, I have a little folder that contains some teas. And I thought that was that was nice. I like the idea of doing that. I have done a tea folder before using Marianne's tutorial. Um, but this one it's just so simple once you take all the teas out and they are mainly herbal teas because not everybody likes real tea it's a really nice size you know that's not too thick it's very easy to hold and it's just a little book that she can keep for however long she wants okay so that's my little quote book and my two sachets. There we go. Thank you ladies for joining me and I hope you like what I made. Bye bye.